we are doing a video that I'm super excited about. We are going to do a full face using nothing but Dollar General makeup. I wanna give you a quick rundown of everything that we got. I got some beauty sponges, the three blending sponges. This is the foundation that I chose to go with. This is the LA Colors Truly Matte Long Wearing High Pigment Foundation. This comes in 1.35 fluid ounce, so it is a little bit more than your standard foundation. Normally you get about one fluid ounce, so this is a little bit more. It had about six colors, and this was the closest I could find to my color. This is Soft Beige. Well, the closest thing that I could really find to a concealer was this contour stick. So this is light to brighten, CCS623. We got a darker one for the contour. This is medium, medium to contour. Okay, for the lip, I got the LA Colors Pout Lip Gloss Matte. And then I got this one, which is LA Colors High Shine shea butter lip gloss i got the la color la colors eyeliner and eyebrow pencil in very black i got the la dramata lash dramata lash that's a tongue twister la dramata lash volume mascara okay we got the day tonight la colors eyeshadow palette and then we got the LA Color Show Off, Show It Off blush and highlight. So I'll be using this for my highlighter and my blush. Oh, we got the LA Colors Highlight and Contour Palette. So I guess we will set this. We will set this with this. We also got the LA Colors Jumbo Eye Pencil. And the only thing that I could find for my eyebrows is the LA Colors Brow Pencil in the color medium. And honestly, I think this is gonna be too dark for me, but we'll see. Also got the LA Colors Matte Setting Spray. I could not find any primer. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Let's check out these beauty sponges. These are pretty, I don't know, they feel pretty hard. Maybe once we wet in them, they will get a little softer. We'll see, I'm gonna go ahead and wet these. All right. So, we're gonna give us a good shake. And I think we're just gonna go on in and we're gonna use the black one. Hopefully this will be my color. If not, this is just what we'll have to work with. Like I said, they really didn't have much to choose from. I think they had a total of like six colors. And one was very, very light, way too dark, way too light for me. And the other ones were too dark for me. So this was kind of somewhere in the middle going on pretty smooth. I don't really feel like it's got a lot of coverage, but it's going on pretty smooth. So we'll see. We'll see if it's beautiful. I do feel like it's a little orange. I don't know how it's looking. I'm looking in the mirror over here and when I look in the camera, it doesn't really seem as orange. Okay, so the color's not that far off. It's more of like if you were to apply a BB cream, maybe. That's about the coverage that it has. Like maybe if you just wanted to go out like with a kind of a natural look. So we're gonna go ahead and apply a little bit more. See if we can build this to get a more full coverage look. I feel like the sponge is just super rough. That one's really cute. So if it just didn't feel like I'm slapping my head with a cinder block or something. It does seem to be buildable. So you can get more coverage if that's what you need. All right, guys, so that's about what the foundation is going to do, I believe. It is buildable, so you could probably get a little bit more coverage if you need it to. For Let's see how much we paid for the foundation. Okay, so the regular price for the foundation was $4, but it was on sale for $3.50. So, you know what? For $3.50, I'm not really going to complain. It is a little bit yellow or maybe got a little bit of an orange tint. The next thing we're going to do is I'm just going to go in with this contour stick to go up underneath my eyes. Wow. Hold it's on. very, very sticky. I'm just slapping it on here where I would normally apply my concealer and we're going to see what happens. But it feels really sticky. I'm not going to lie. It almost feels like I'm, I have like a wet crayon. All right. I think I'm going to use the green 
center block to um, blend this out. Hopefully I don't wake up with any bruises from slapping my face with this center block. Seems to be blending out pretty well though. This seems to be blending out okay. Maybe it seems like it's lightening up my face a little bit. So, next I'm gonna go in with the darker contour stick and I don't know, this may be too dark. We're gonna see. Look at that. This is medium to contour. I'm just gonna apply this where I would normally put my contour. I don't know. This may, this may be pretty dark. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the same one that I used with the concealer with and buff this out. It's not that bad actually. It's actually not, it's blending out to be lighter than what I thought it was going to be, I think. Doesn't look very bad. I think it's looking all right. Okay, so that blended out well. I'm a little shocked at how well that blended out. It looks pretty, pretty good, honestly. I'm gonna go right here and blend this out. I have to say, I'm kind of shocked about the um the dark contour because I thought that was gonna be so dark, but it looks pretty good. All right, so we are going to set the concealer and the contour with the LA Colors Highlight and Contour Palette. Let's see if we can get into this. They have like the, oh, I just scratched the, I just scratched it like all up because I'm using like little scissors for the tape. They have little, very little tiny piece of tape. That's how it's closed. All right, let's see if this can shock us like, this actually done a really good job. I'm kind of shocked. I'm probably gonna keep it. I may use it again, who knows? Now if I can just get this open without breaking it. Ah! There we go, got it. Okay, so we are gonna take, oh, they had no brushes. I think I just set it with the sponge. Let's, we'll go ahead and set it with the sponge, I think. We're going to set underneath the eyes with, with this color, the lighter color. It's picking up the product pretty good and it's laying on. It seems like it's laying on, I guess. I'm actually going to go ahead and do my eyelid. I don't know if they had. Okay, there is actually a color on the palette that I bought that could be my transition color, but just in case, I went ahead and used this for it. This seems to be working out okay. It's lightening it up a little bit. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but when I lay this on top of the stick concealer, it's lightening it up a little bit. I don't feel like it's causing any creases either. It lays on pretty good. Okay, we're gonna set the I just closed that up, I don't know why. Because I can't open that. Okay, we're gonna set the dark contour with this color and I'm gonna, yeah, go back in with this sponge. I'm kinda scared. Uh, I'm kinda scared. We may have to brush that out because I don't know how this is gonna work out. Oh, that kinda went on patchy. Can you see that? We're gonna have to blend that out with a brush. I just don't see how this is gonna work just with the sponge. Do I like the color? Oh my God, look at that, y'all, look at that. Probably shouldn't have applied this with a with a sponge. The lighter color done okay, but this darker color is really not, we might get it blended out, but let's hope we can get this blended out, y'all. Oh my goodness, 
<laughs> Holy crap. What is going on here? We're going to have to use a brush, guys, see if we can get this blended out. Because if not, this looks horrendous. Okay, I'm going to go in with this brush. This is a wet and wild brush. I'm going to see if I can blend this. Let's please hope this is blendable. Okay, it's very patchy, like very patchy. I don't know if you guys can see on the camera, but it's really patchy. I mean, I guess it's blending out a little bit. And we gotta do something about this side. I don't know if I just, when I placed it, I like wasn't paying any attention, but I really should have just stayed right here and I just went walk right there. We may have to, um, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pick up some of the lighter powder and I'm gonna fix that with the lighter powder. This, this cost a dollar, but let me tell you, it's hard to open, especially if you have fake nails. It's like hard to open. Okay, I think that's kind of fixing it a little bit. This powder's okay. The lighter color is okay. All right, so where were we? Oh yeah, we were trying to fix where I jacked the side of my face up with that dark contour. I'm just gonna go down with a lighter. I think that's fixing it though. Uh, okay, so had to pick up a little bit of this. For a dollar, I mean, for a dollar, it's doing its job. What are we gonna go in with next, you guys? I think we'll go in with some highlight and some blush. This is the LA Colors Show It Off Blush and Highlight. This little piece of tape So hard to get off. Alrighty, so I'm trying to refrain from using brushes. I guess we're just gonna go in with the butt end. Wait, no, we're gonna do the highlight. We're gonna pick up the highlight with the booty sponge like this. And we're gonna see if we can just dab that on there. If we can just place it on there like that. I really don't know. I've never applied highlighter with a sponge ever so i don't even know if how that works we may have to end up using the brush because i really want to see if this is going to show up can you guys see anything you know what we're going to go in with one of the wet and wild brushes from the dollar store i'm not really seeing too much of anything i just see a little bit of sparkly just a little bit of sparkly but not really Highlighter is just sparkling. I don't know if that makes sense. I'm going to put a little bit on my nose. Like I normally would do. Put a little bit right above the lip. Like I normally would do. Okay, I'm seeing it on the lip. I am seeing it right above the lip. It actually does show up. Right on the nose and on the lip, it's actually doing a great job. Okay, so the highlighter is doing okay, I think. It's got a little bit of a pink tone to it. I don't really like that, but it's working. I do like the way it worked on my nose and right at the top of the lip, it gave the right amount of shine that I normally like. So, all right, we'll see, we'll see. I'm gonna go in with some blush. I don't know what color to use. This has a shimmer to it, but this does not. I think we're gonna go with the one that doesn't have the shimmer. So you get two different blushes, one with a shimmer, one that doesn't have a shimmer, and two different types of highlighters. Hmm, I don't know. Now, looking at it, the highlighter has a lot of shimmer. And it's not like a normal highlighter. Like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. And it's like way over here. I guess I accidentally put it over here. I don't know. I don't... I guess maybe when I thought it wasn't showing up, I was just like... Dum, 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 trying to get, get it to show up somewhere. And now it's showing up like way down here. But it has a little bit of a pink shimmer to it. I like the dark contour. I even like the pink. But the highlighter on the cheeks... Not really my style, but it highlights. So, oh, let's go in with an eyeliner pencil. So this one costs like a dollar, and you're getting a huge pencil. A huge pencil. Oh, and I'm going to cut myself trying to open this. So, I'm going to 
put my eyeliner on real quick. Let's see how this lands. This is black. Very black. It's not just coming right on like. All right, you can see it, you can see it. Okay. I would use this. I mean, this costs a dollar and it looks great to me. That looks good to me. It went on pretty good. It was a little hard at first to get it on, but it may just be because the pencil's new. I'm gonna keep this. I like this. Look how big it is. I'm gonna put that right over here in my makeup. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into this day to night LA Colors eyeshadow palette and see what we can do with the eyes. I swear, these everything is packaged. Like, holy moly. Tape stuck to my finger. Can't get it off. All right. So, we're just going to use the this that come in it. We're just going to go with this color first. To go all over the eyelid as like a transition color. It's actually showing up kind of like a white. I don't think I put any eyeshadow on with these things since I was in like eighth grade maybe. All right, so let's see what color we're gonna go in with. Maybe we'll hit the crease with this color. Okay, so the colors aren't very pigmented, but let's see if we can blend them. Just keep applying it until we get the color that we want. That looks better. That's a pretty color though. When I first picked it up to put it on there, I was kind of scared that it would be a little too dark, but it's not. All right, so we went in with that color. Now I think to go right above it, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of, maybe this color right above it. Yeah, we'll go in with this color right above it. And let's see which side we haven't used yet. Not gonna lie, that color's not really showing up. It has like a shimmer to it in the pan, but I'm not seeing nothing. Let's try to put it right here. Okay, I can see it right there. I can see a little bit right there. This brush has me like, I can't even, I can't even really concentrate on what I'm doing because I'm so like, the little brush, the little baby brush. Okay, so that's looking, that's looking all right. This, these colors aren't pigmented at all, and you would have to definitely build them up to whatever look you're going for. And I think there's a little bit of fallout going on right now. Yes, I have like some fallout on this hair right here. If you guys can see it, we're gonna have to get a brush and sweep that off. Okay, so I think that look is all right. I think it looks fine. And, oh, you know what? I wanted to get the white jumbo pencil just to kind of color in right here. Right in the inner corner and right on the waterline, but not very far, just right there. And that went on pretty smooth. So next we are gonna go in with our LA Colors Dramata Lash Volume Mascara. I had I picked up another one, but I seen this one. I picked up one that was like 250, I think. And then right as I was about to leave, I seen this one in like a little 
cubby spot with a bunch of other products. There was LA Color products. It was just a dollar. It was this and these and where's the lip? And these, they were all in like a little secret cubby thing on the edge of the aisle and they're all a dollar. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and swap this mascara out and we're gonna get this one. Now I've heard that rather than pumping your mascara, if you twist it like that, that it'll keep you from getting clumps on the applicator. So we're gonna see if this works. I actually just read that today. I like the little, the little applicator though. It's a cute little applicator. All right, let's see. I'm liking it, honestly. It's not really making my lashes look any longer, but it's darkening them up a little bit. So it's a very subtle change. It's not a lot. There's no clumpiness. I don't know, you might get build it to get your lashes a little bit longer, maybe so. And I think that actually worked, the twisting it rather than the pumping it, because there is no clumps on my eyelashes right now. I have to say they look really good. They're not as long as what I would normally like for them to look after I apply mascara, but I'm not getting any product on my eye, around my eye, on the lid or anything. Like I normally do, I always, I normally always get mascara somewhere around my eye when I'm applying it. And I'm not right now, so pretty happy about that. For a dollar, I think this is a pretty good win. Alright, so it does take, you have to do it a few times to get the product on there. If you are on a budget and you just want a mascara that'll darken your your eyelashes, it'll work. It'll darken them up a little bit. I can tell a difference. Okay, so the last thing we're going to do is the eyebrow pencil. And this is not my color, you guys. The eyebrow pencil is kind of cool. It, kinda, it comes with a little spoolie on the end. So we're going to brush them eyebrows up. And over. I was really hoping they would have a powder because I normally apply my eyebrows with a powder just because powders blend a lot easier than a pencil. And I've never, I've never really been able to apply it very good with a pencil. I've never liked the way it looks when I do a pencil, but this is all they had. So this is what we're going to use. All right, so I've done the outside and I'm gonna just use this foley to kind of blend that out a little bit. It looked like it was gonna be too dark, but you know what? It just may not have been as pigmented as I thought. It's actually working pretty well. And I think it looks all right. Okay, so let's go in with this eye. Oh yeah, and now it's getting all patchy because I'm like trying to get fast with it. I'm gonna have to see how much I paid for this. I think I paid a dollar for this too. Oh yeah, I know I did because these were all in that little cubby right as I was about to walk out. So this costs a dollar too. So it comes with a little spoolie. So for a dollar, I think this is a win, you guys. Like honestly, I think this is a win for your eyebrows. It comes with a little spoolie. The color's a little bit lighter than what you would think. So you might actually mess around and get the wrong color. I'm gonna continue using this, I'm not gonna lie. I do not normally use pencils because I've never been able to get them blend out the way that I like. But this one is like getting it done, what? I like it. This is gonna be one of my keeps, honestly. This is gonna be one of the things that I keep, all for a dollar. I'm happy with that one. All right, so the next thing we're gonna go in is, I think one of these is a matte lip and another one is a gloss. So I wanna open both of these up and get a look at them. All right, so 
there's that one. I like the color. It's a little, it's like a little pinkish peach color. And then this one is more of a maroon, but let's see. Kind of thinking. I'm gonna go in with the peach color because I think it'll look better. Y'all, this tastes like, um, I mean, this, this taste, probably shouldn't have done that. This smells like, this smells like a cookie. Yeah, it smells like a cookie. Like, it smells like something you would want to eat. It's a very sticky though. I'm having to rip my lips off trying to apply this. Oh, I don't like the color. Nope. Mm -mm. Now this color is not, maybe it is. Is that the same color, you guys? It doesn't look like it to me. It's very sticky. You can best believe this will transfer. Yeah. I can already... Yeah, this is definitely going to transfer, so. Let me get that off the back of my hand. Uh, it smells good. And it, it shines really pretty. Uh, no, I like it. I like the color now. Okay, so I kind of like this. It is glossy. It's a little sticky, too. It feels kind of thick and it does transfer. Yeah. But I like the color and just for like a quick run to the grocery store or something, I think I will pop this on maybe. All right, got, oh, setting spray, I forgot. So we got the LA Colors Matte Setting Spray. And we're gonna, we're gonna put the setting spray on real quick. We're gonna set it. Okay, there we go. I don't really feel like a lot's coming out. All right, so I got it set. Normally what I do when I say my, when I spray my setting spray, I go back in and I just, rather than um, fanning it dry, I actually kind of pat it. Just because I feel like patting it with a sponge kind of makes, just locks everything in. So normally that's what I do. So that's what I'm gonna do tonight. I'm just patting everything in. To lock everything in. I don't know you guys. I think it looks pretty good. I think the I think it looks it looks alright. For 40 bucks. What do you guys think? For $40? Drop a comment. If you think the look looks okay, or if you don't, or if you have any suggestions on what I should do next, make sure you leave a comment. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. Hit the bell so you're notified of any time I post new videos. I'm going to be posting once a week at least. Oh, really quick. My nails also come from the dollar store. While I was there, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to pick up some nails from there too, and I think I paid... Let's see, I paid $3 for this set of nails, and I got two sets, so it was $6. These are also dollar store, and they feel okay. We'll see how long they last. All right, guys, I like the look. I think it's okay. The eyeshadows weren't very pigmented, but it's a look. It works. I'm happy with it. And for $40, it looks pretty good. All right, guys. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you leave me suggestions. Um, check out my other videos. Until then, I will see you guys next week with my next video. Bye-bye.